Hello everyone, and welcome to Quantify's presentation on the basics of the square meter method of estimating. In this presentation, we will discuss introductory estimating theory and terminology, and cover the square meter estimation method. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for notifications to new videos. You can also watch our other presentations, for further information on various presentations on the built environment. Cost estimating is the process of calculating all the elements required, to forecast the total cost of constructing a structure, that is, the cost of construction is known before any work begins. Cost estimates are used to determine a project's feasibility, and therefore needs to be as accurate as possible. More precise estimates, reduce the risk of the contractor under allowing funds to complete the works, and, the client in turn potentially overspending. The estimator over their career, will gain experience to tender faster, and more accurately as they progress. Furthermore, gathering data from the site, is a great way to improve rate precision. The fundamental requirements to achieve accuracy, are time, and experience. Quick and easy estimates are generally inaccurate, whereas more time-consuming and detailed estimates produce superior results. Rate accuracy is amplified by an estimator with years of experience, and a large data bank of site-related records of completed works. Efficient estimators find a balance between time and accuracy, using their experience and databases gained over their careers. There are a number of estimating options available to estimators, which we will consider over the estimating series of presentations. Let's briefly run through some common forms of estimation, available to estimators. Square meter method. This method is usually used in the design phase of a project. It is a fairly accurate method of estimating, if the costs of similar previously completed buildings are known. Elemental estimating method. An elemental estimate will require more detailed drawings and specifications. Components which can be combined into lengths, or areas, will be priced together in various building elements, to arrive at a cost estimate. Detailed estimating method. A detailed estimate, measures the entire structure complete, although time-consuming, is a highly accurate method of estimating. This method can be used once there are detailed drawings available, and the scope of works has been clearly defined. Let's work through the square meter method, how to use it, its advantages, and disadvantages. The square meter method uses the internal area of a building, multiplied by a predetermined rate to provide a cost estimate. When measuring the internal area, all walls, lifts, ducts etc., shown on plan should be included in the area calculation. The square meter method is a very quick and easy method of estimating, because of this, it is often the first method used by an estimator to provide a cost estimate. It is particularly useful at the design phase of a project, where detailed plans and specifications are lacking. The accuracy of the square meter method can also be improved with historical records of similar projects completed by the estimator. The following should be considered when using the square meter method. The shape and height of the building. Open or closed plan, which considers the amount of walls built internally. Specifications on materials, that is, high, medium, or low specifications. Site location, for example, if it is near, or far from supply sources, or if the site is difficult to access. If the structure is built using steel, timber, or brick and mortar. Fittings and services, for example, fiber, solar, sewer, water, fire, electrical requirements etc. Repetition of design, versus unique rooms, or components. In the instance of a hotel, if rooms are copied, this will be easier to estimate, than a building design with varying rooms. Size, and type of project. Resource costs increase over time, therefore longer projects need to take into account for inflation of costs. When work is scarce, resources generally cost less, so the local, and market conditions should be considered. Let's consider the following designs focusing on the shape of the building. As you can see, in this example, both options have the same floor area, and therefore using the square meter method of estimating would indicate they cost the same. It is evident however, building 2 will require more walls, and consequently would cost more to construct. Moving on to the following designs focusing on the height of the walls. Both buildings have the same shape and wall length, and so the estimate would indicate both buildings cost the same. However, building 4 will cost more to construct, on the account of the higher walls as indicated. Lastly, Let's look at closed versus open plan building. Both buildings have the same floor area, the same perimeter wall length, and therefore same square meter cost. Building 6 will clearly cost more to build, 
as it has substantially more internal walls. And that concludes Quantify's presentation on estimating theory and the square meter method of estimating. Thank you for watching. Be sure to watch our other videos on more topics covering the built environment. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you found the video insightful.